Blessings. Thanks for joining me today. I believe I have an exciting word for you today. As we've entered into this uh, month of June, I just want to share what I believe the Lord's been sharing with me concerning this month and from in the days forward. As we've entered into the month of June, June is like the uh, halfway point uh, in this year. And um, I believe the Lord is sharing with me that, you know, we're halfway through this year and we came into this year uh, with some expectation. We came up into this year with some excitement about the new things that God would do and about the new opportunities for growth and development in our lives. And, 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 and what, what he's sharing with me is that at this time of the year, it's time to make some adjustments. So the two words he's given to me is adjustments and launching. So let's just deal with that first word. It's time to make some adjustments. Um, so you see, like when we're on a course and when we're walking a certain direction and we, we, we're, we're on a road, we're traveling somewhere. You know, there are times where we can get off course. There are times where we can get a little bit uh, to the left and to the right. And in order for us to... Uh, finish or to reach our destination on time, uh, safe, and as according to plan, there's sometimes we have to make some adjustments. So uh, I believe what he's saying is this is the time when we need to make some adjustments. So what is an adjustment? An adjustment um, is defined as a small alteration or movement made to achieve a desired fit, appearance, or result. So an adjustment is a small alteration, a small movement, but it's made to achieve something. It's made to achieve a desired fit. It's made to achieve a desired result. It's made to get to the desired destination. So if there, if so we need to examine ourselves and if there's some small things that we need to do is if there's some adjustments, some movements, some motions that some corrections that we need to make so that we finish the course on time, on track, then to time, now is the time we need to begin to make those adjustments while there are small adjustments. Uh, another definition of adjustment is the process of adapting or becoming used to a new situation. Let me say that again. It's the process of adapting and becoming used to a new situation. We need to make adjustments because uh, we need to get used. We, we, we need to adapt and become ready for the new situation that God wants to do in our lives. See, God has some things that he wants to do. He has some new things, some new relationships, some new contacts, some new uh, uh, ministry opportunities, some new uh, health, healing, and development for the people of God. But we have to make adjustments. We have to get used to the new thing. We have to make some necessary corrections so that we can get used to the new thing that he wants to do. Because we, we're so used to the old thing. Some of us have been so pushed down, uh, so uh, 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 held back, so bound up in the old that when the new comes, we can't receive it. So we have to make the adjustment so that we can receive the new thing that God wants to do. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying to him, people of God? And so he just gave me a word concerning this. And I just want to look at the scripture real quick. And we're going to be looking at Luke, a uh, fifth chapter. And I'll just read verse one through five. So it was as the multitude pressed about him to hear the word of God, that he stood by the lake of Genesaret and saw two boats standing by the lake. But the fishermen had gone from them and were washing their nets. Mm -hmm. Then he got to one of the boats, which was Simon's, and asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the multitude from the boat. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out to the deep and let down your nets for a catch. 
But Simon answered and said to him, Master, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. And I'm going to stop reading there. See, there, see, when we, we see in this account uh, of these fishermen and of Simon, that Simon had to make an adjustment. You see, he had toiled all night and he had to make an adjustment. Jesus was giving him an instruction and he was telling him to do something that was unusual. He was telling them to do something that was going against everything that he would have thought he should be doing. He was giving him an instruction and telling him to make an adjustment. Peter saying, Master, we've toiled all night and we've caught nothing. So we've already labored. We've already put in the work. We have already done what is necessary according to what I know how to do. But Jesus is saying, I need you to make an adjustment. I need you to stay out a little while longer. All right. I need you to stay out a little while longer. I need you to make this adjustment and follow my instruction. Come on. That's a good word right there. Some of us just need to make the adjustment to follow the instruction of the Lord, even though it's unusual, even though it may seem difficult, even though it is not uh, lined up with the way we would do things. So Simon had to make an adjustment. He said, nevertheless, you see, when 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 you have to make an adjustment, you got to be saying that G if Jesus gave me this instruction, it is nevertheless. All right. The instructions of Jesus are nevertheless is always the more. So I need to make some adjustments. You need to make some adjustments so we can receive the better. So we can receive the greater, so that we can receive the more, and so that we can finish the course that God has for us. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you, people of God? So Peter had to make that adjustment. We have to make that adjustment. And also we see uh, in verse 4 that it says, when he has stopped speaking, he said to Simon. You see, it said, when he has stopped speaking, when that means that he wasn't speaking to everybody. He was speaking to Simon individually now. So we need to make an adjustment and position ourselves to hear from Jesus individually. Not just in a, a, a corporate setting, but personal. That's what Jesus wants. He wants to speak to us personally so he can give us the instruction and we can make the adjustment that could bring us personal edification. Personal growth. That can help us in our personal lives, in our personal relationships. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you people of God? So he said to Peter, launch out. So that was a destruction. So he now he's saying it's time to launch. And that's the other word I'm hearing, people of God. I'm hearing the Lord say it's time to launch. It's, a, it's no longer time. Mm, it's not a time for lynching. It's a time for launching. What do I mean that it's no longer time to hang out? It's no longer time just to hang around. It's no longer a time for hangups, but it's the time. It's not a time for lynching. It's a time for launching. You see, the difference between lynching and launching is just making an adjustment of two letters, just making a small adjustment, a small correction, a small change, a small movement. And we make that small movement. We turn a lynching to a launching. We turn what looked like was death, what looked like was destruction, what looked like was that the wrong path, the wrong thing and the negative. We turn it into a launching for victory, a launching out. It's time to launch out, people of God. What is a launching? The, one of the definitions of launching is to set, to start or set in motion in activity or enterprise. You see, it was, it's time for us to begin to launch out. That is to set in motion, to begin to start an activity in, in, or an enterprise, to begin to originate it, to begin to build it. To begin to get going, to begin to move forward, to begin to uh, uh, put some feet to our faith, people of God. You see, Peter in the scripture, he had to launch out. He said, Jesus said, launch out into the deep. And, and if, if he had stayed there and said, that sound good, but he would not have put feet to his faith, he would not have received the abundance harvest that God had for him. So it's time for us to launch out. There's some things 
that God wants us to launch into. There's some ministries that he wants us to launch. There's some businesses that he wants us to launch. There's some relationships that he wants us to launch. There's some, there's some activities, some enterprises that God wants us to begin to launch out in. He's saying launch out even though it's unfamiliar to you. Launch out. He's saying launch out even though it goes against what you think and the way you think it should be done. He's saying launch out. He's saying launch out even if get out of your comfort zone and, be, and start the process. Start, originate it, build it. Uh, take the first step and just begin to launch out. And when you begin to launch out, Jesus will instruct you and he'll bring you to your place of harvest, your place of abundance and your place of freedom. So, Father, I thank you for this word. I thank you, O oh God, for your people. And I'm praying for each and every one of them, God, that they will make adjustments in their lives, oh God. That they will make some changes, some corrections, some small movements that will bring them the desired results. That would allow them to be fitted properly in the kingdom of God. I'm praying, oh God, that they would make these adjustments and that these adjustments would bring them to a place where they will begin to launch out where they will begin to move forward, where they would get out of their comfort zone and just begin to take the first step into what you have for them. Empower them, God. Strengthen them, O oh Lord. Encourage them, Lord. Build them up and give them all things that are necessary for success. We thank you for this and we praise you today. In Jesus' name. And all those that agree with me, say amen. So if this if video has impacted you at all, if it's resonated in your spirit, let me know what you think in the comments section. And, and just remember, continue to be blessed.